welcome to this week's edition of Help Desk with Joe. And with me, as always, Joe. Here we are. We're here. We're back. Another week of shows and episodes. And uh, you're always keeping us current on new stuff coming out, stuff that uh, people need to be on the lookout for, and if uh, new technology that's coming out that people need to be aware of so that help make their lives better. But this week, we're talking about a different issue or slightly different issue. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. Okay. You know, you've heard of the Microsoft scam we covered in an episode, and right. you know we did the One Ring scam last week. Yep. This week is a new scam that just uh, made its way onto the internet within the last couple of days. Is the new Netflix scam? Right. So people are attacking and trying to get you torn away from your money. Right. And this is the newest scam out on the block, and you're here to give people the 411 on what the situation is. Right. All right. So Whatever that means. <laughs> that's where we're at with it. All right. Where you're at. All right. So the Netflix scan, I can't even say it, the Netflix scan. Mm-hmm. Everybody's familiar with what Netflix is. Right. It will actually, if they're not, fill okay. us in on what that is and how it encompasses this problem. Netflix is a company that offers you internet streaming of movies, TV shows, through a subscription basis where you pay, I think it's $8 a month, yeah. and you, you pay your $8 a month and you have unlimited, you can watch movies, TV shows, all kinds of programming offered right. through Netflix. And it's through the internet. Right. So, okay, people, if you're not familiar with it, it's something you go buy on the internet and you can watch shows. So. Right. Okay. What's the deal with the scam? What is it exactly? Okay, so how this scam works is that you receive an email posing as Netflix. Okay. And it says, there's an issue with your account. You need to sign in your account and see what's going on. So it says, click here to log in and check it out. So you click the link and it sends you to what looks like a Netflix page. It's actually not. If you look in the address bar, you know, where you type in Google.com, right, right. Yahoo.com, it has, it's not actually going to Netflix.com. It says Netflix dot, then has some gibber, somebody else's website. Really? Okay. Yeah. So they're trying to drag you to a fake website, right. and then have you do what? After that, on the page it says uh, there's an issue with your account. Call our 800 number, and wow. it gives you an 800 number to call. Okay. And then, assuming that you go that far because you didn't read closely the av- the b- address bar, mm-hmm. you're now at someone else's site. You're calling their 800 number. What happens when you call that number? Actually, uh, Malware Bytes they did a video on. The, they had a technician actually test all the way through, which we don't recommend doing this. Don't call right. them, don't fool with them. They actually went through the whole process just to see what all happened. So they called and reached Netflix tech support. It was actually based out of India. This uh, person posed themselves as Netflix tech support and said that their account was compromised, that they found hackers on this uh, person's computer, and they and for their inconvenience, they was going to give them a fifty dollar credit towards their Netflix account. Nice. Okay. So then they went one step farther and said, "Would help you clean your mess up and prevent this from happening. We're going to ship you over to Microsoft support, and yeah, and they'll work with you to get your system cleaned up." Okay. And if you go that far, what happens? So the the Microsoft rep comes on there and says I need to load some software on there to get into your system which they use a program called TeamViewer which is a legitimate program companies right. use it but they're using it for the wrong reasons right okay so they get in your system and they open up a DOS prompt in the old days of DOS the black screen the white letters and they run a fake script on there and it makes it look like it's your system just ate up and then pretty much one of the commands is just does a scan of every file shows you every file in your system so they're saying so I see all this this is bad this isn't good right right and then they have it show up at the bottom saying that your system's infected yeah 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 so then you start to panic right right and then they say well to clean this up we'll or we'll sell you an antivirus for three hundred fifty dollars right so what this person did was they went as far as they said, well, we need you to send us a picture copy of your credit card, both front and back, so we know that you are the actual credit card holder. You're not not us a bunch of numbers. Pretty clever. Yes. Because that seems legitimate. They're trying right. to, they act like they're trying to help you. Right. And while that scan's showing up on your system, they're actually doing a scan into your system itself for any documents that may consist of banking information, passwords, anything that's actually valuable to them. Wow. Okay. So it's a double whammy. Right. If you had happened to send your credit card picture and stuff to them, I guess you're just in a world of hurt at that point. Exactly. Okay, you've been compromised. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you, they have your identity at this point pretty much. So just to clarify, they sucker you into going to a Netflix account, and probably whether you have it or not, end up scanning your computer as Microsoft, mm-hmm. and then telling you you have problems, and to verify that you're the person you say you are, send them a picture of your credit card. Right. It's complicated, but I can see people falling for it. Yeah, and how they get your username and password to the Netflix site is their fake site actually looks like Netflix. So you type in your username and password, well, you just send them your Netflix account information. Right. So then that sends you that pop up yep. that says call our 800, our 800 number. Right, right. Wow, okay. 
complicated deal, but happening as we speak. Yes. How does a person go about preventing that? Other than the obvious, is okay. there anything else other than just don't do it? <laughs> well, anytime you, you know, not only Netflix, anytime you get a suspicious email saying that there's account information or compromise on your account, whether it be Netflix or like an internet radio service, anything as far as your internet activity goes, shopping, anything like that, right. go straight to the website. Don't click the link inside the email. That's a good point. I never, th I didn't think of that until you just said it, but boy, that's smart. That's probably the best option you could get is just avoid that altogether, go straight to the website. Use your official login. Right. And that'll keep you safe. Right. That way, if there is a legitimate problem, more than likely it'll pop up on that website, or yep. you can go to that website and get an 800 number and call that support number. Right. Okay. And if, uh, well, what, second tip. Was there a second tip? Yeah, second tip. Don't give your credit card information away. I mean, if Ever. it's an actual account issue, you shouldn't have to give your credit card number out for any verification or purchase any additional services. Right. I know like if you have a satellite provider or something like that, they give you a code number. Right. Or word, whatever it is. They give you a code and you're supposed to know that. It comes on your bills. Right. And if you don't know it, they won't give you any information. Right. I've been down that road. Right. Or you give them a, a four-digit PIN number. Right. Yeah. as a code of some sort, but it, it was established. So that that's good. That's what you want to have happen. You're right. Stay away from your credit card. Go with that. That's a legitimate question to answer. Right. What is your code or whatever. Okay. Any other tips? You've Just covered... Uh, Go to the web, straight to the website. Mm -hmm. Don't ever send your credit card information. Exactly. And if it sounds too good to be true or if it sounds fishy, just call the company directly. Yeah. Don't fool with anything around about. I mean, realistically, if it's someone here local to us, the easiest thing would be, all right, stop where I'm at. If my computer is that messed up, bring it to you. Right. Because at that point, you know, people trust you to take care of their issues. Right. You're taking some cat in India's word for it. Right, and actually, you know, I've had with the Microsoft call, like I said in the previous show, you know, my neighbor actually received that call, and he's seen the show, and yep. he heard us talk about it, and he said, hey, I got that call. He said, I didn't fall for it. He said, I, you know, I pretty much told him, you know, good luck, best wishes to you. You yep. know, you're not oh, getting yeah. me. Get out of here. He's nice about it, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Nicer than I'd probably be. Yeah. <laughs> trying to steal your money. Or it's, that's right, and that's the whole point of the scheme is to not only steal your money, in this case, steal your identity to and do who knows what in. with it. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Anything else we need to know? Just uh, be cautious. I mean, don't, yeah. don't fall into it. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. You know, as you said, if you get that call or you get that email, don't, don't give out your information. Right. Verify and check it. And if nothing else, hang up. And if it's important, they'll call you back. If you miss your $8 a month Netflix that much, right. <laughs> go to the website yeah. and take care of it. My yeah. goodness. Yeah, uh, you know, I, lo losing your identity is not worth that right, $8 right. loss. Yeah. And it, it's crazy to me to think that someone would say, I'll pay $350 to some cat in India, mm -hmm. you know, on a different continent to fix my problems, rather than say, Joe, take What's care going of my problem, and it's probably going to be cheaper. Right. I, mean, I, I assume you might have some instance where there's a $350 tech bill, but for what it sounds like they're trying to scam you for, surely you can do a better job. Right. Better price-wise than that. Right. And, and get custom service. Right. Well, and, and actual service, not right. I'm trying to steal your information. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the, the real important part. You're <laughs> yeah. not getting done in a bad way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, sounds good. I, I like what you're saying. Uh, again, the backbone of the show, helping people out, mm -hmm. you know, protecting people, helping them protect themselves. Right. So uh, the Netflix scam, mm -hmm. don't fall for it. If someone from Netflix contacts you or emails you, go directly to the website. Follow those three tips. And, of course, I, I think the backbone of it is never give out your credit card information. Right. Under any circumstances. Right. Yeah. Unless it's a call that you initialize and you know the number's legitimate. I mean, right, right. with that, go for that. But if yeah. somebody just calls out you out of the blue or if it seems a little fishy, you know, yeah. you call for tech support, you know, with an issue that you're having with a service that you're paying right, for. And right. they're saying, first thing, I'll do, well, I can't talk to you until I need your credit card number. Wait a minute, time right. out. I'm paying yeah. you a monthly service every month. I want some answers. Yep, and that, that's legitimate. It's crazy, though. I didn't think about it. That's clever. Take a picture of your credit card so we know who you are. Right. That's reversing that old uh, adage of, I'm trying to take advantage of it. No, no, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. And then they get you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> kind of crazy. I can see people falling for it, though. It's <laughs> easy to get confused in those deals. All right, well, that's a great topic. Is there anything else you need to add? I don't think so. If someone has any questions, they're not sure... Uh, and I think more importantly, if they actually have computer problems or they think they may have computer problems, how do they get a hold of it? Because I know I just brought you a computer last week. Yeah. <laughs> the second time in a couple of weeks now, I think in the last month, you've got two of my computers and fixed them up for me. Mm -hmm. If someone has those issues or think they may have those issues, rather than farming that out overseas, take it to A&M Digital Technologies. So 
How do they get a hold of you? You can give us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588. Check out our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com or like our page on Facebook. That's what I do. I see the daily specials. I love it. And it makes it easy. I just shoot you a quick message. Joe, my computer is showing me the blue screen of death. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> so I can get you fixed up. So I like it. It's, uh, you guys come and pick the computer up, fix it, and bring it back. It's awesome. Uh, so and also A and M Digital Technology sponsoring our basketball league for the second year in a row. Yes, and we're really excited to do that. Spencer Elementary K through four fitness and basketball sponsored by A and M Digital Technology. So keep that in mind. If you need anything technology related, have any questions, need tech help, computer work, uh, security camera work, you guys do a lot of different stuff. Yeah, we uh, we skating. wear many hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're always busy, so that's good though. Yes. Keep your business local. Talk to A and M Digital Technologies. Help them out. Uh, help out our local community. And uh, we appreciate you supporting our local program. So well, We're happy to do it. Make sure you get a hold of them. And this show, as always, along with all our other shows, and our podcasts and uh, YouTube our channels. stuff, YouTube channels, Ustream channels, all sponsored and hosted by A&M Digital Technologies here local with Joe and Cena McDonald. So uh, that's it for this week. Thanks for uh, keeping people safe. Oh, thank you. See you next week.